Hey everyone, Michiel from Firmas here. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to show you how to set up a Redis database and a Sidekick background worker for your Ruby on Rails app on the new DigitalOcean app platform. So here's the app that I showed you last time that I deployed on the DigitalOcean app platform. And this app I've added like a feature that a background job will kick off if a new customer is added to, to this app. So I have that code locally and it's pushed to GitHub in the main branch. And now I want to make sure that that feature also works um, in this app that's deployed on the DigitalOcean app platform. So the first thing that I want to show you, if you want to add a database, that there's a dev database, which is the PostgreSQL database, but there's not really an option to add a Redis dev database uh, here. So if you want to do that, you need to pick an existing database from the DigitalOcean managed database service. So to get started, let's first create a Redis database in the DigitalOcean managed database service. So let me quickly switch tabs here. This is an existing Redis database that I already have created. So I'll create a new one for this uh, new prototype app. I'll go to into databases. I'll select Redis. I'll keep it at the, like the cheapest, smallest plan of 15 dollars a month and I'll add it to the Amsterdam data center. I'll just give this a name so I will recognize it later. Firmhouse Protect Redis and I'll add it to the Firmhouse project. So I'm creating a database cluster. So now we need to wait before this Redis database is provisioned and once it's provisioned we can go back to our app on the DigitalOcean app platform and hook it up and then I'll show you how to configure it as well. So it looks like the database Redis cluster is provisioned. We don't really have to do anything here. This is only important if you want to like use your uh, managed database service from the DigitalOcean in your own app without the app platform. So let's switch back to the regular uh, app platform dashboard where I will connect this database. And for that, I will go to the components tab and I'll create a new component and choose database. And then in the configure your database screen, I'll choose existing database. And as you see here and now, I have my new Firmos Protect Redis database ready. So I'll attach this database. So now that the database is attached, I actually need to tell my web worker, so my regular Ruby on Rails code, to use that Redis database to schedule Sidekick jobs. But I also need to add a worker because we need to run a Sidekick process on the background. So let me first do the last thing. I'm going to create a component here, which is a worker component. And I'll choose my Firmware Protect repository, choose the main branch, and I'll name my worker Firmware Protect Sidekick. Now the worker type is already pre selected, but you'll see here that the run command still lists real server. So I'm going to update this to bundle exec sidekick and what you could do already is define the queues that you want to run in here so you could for example define queue default and queue mailer i'm just going to leave this off for now because i don't have mailers in separate queues so i'm going to have to run command b just bundle exec sidekick now when i click next i will choose the plan i'll just choose the smallest uh, container size and launch the worker. So the worker is now provisioning, but before we can actually make this work is that we need to hook up the Redis database to the worker and to our main code base with the use of an environment variable. And then app platform will redeploy our app and everything should work. So let me quickly go into environment variables of my worker so I can tell it to use the Redis database for the Sidekick queue backending database. And DigitalOcean has a neat thing where you can include like template tags for your environment variable key values for your services. So what I'm going to do here is Redis URL. And then here I'm going to link it in the firmhouse protect redis dot redis URL variable. And this is kind of like a magic environment variable that each um, service from the database, the DigitalOcean da managed database service will provide. So for Redis, it will be Redis URL. If you just run a MySQL or a PostgreSQL 
database it would just have database URL as magic variable. And this is a really convenient way to link your Redis URL from your workers and your app code base into the appropriate Redis URL of your Redis database. So let me add this one and click save. So that will be applied. Now let's quickly take a look at that Redis URL, what happens under the hood. So this Firmhouse Protect uh, managed database is now linked into my app. And as you see here, there's a few connection details here, which lists the, like the, the actual URL in the DigitalOcean infrastructure where apps can connect to the Redis database. And if you look at the connection string, this is actually what gets in injected in that environment variable for your web code base and your worker. So this will use a secured Redis connection into the managed Redis database. I don't think the app platform already has private connections. So currently this is the only way to connect your app to your Redis database. It will probably go over a public internet connection and use this secured connection to do that. So let's now set up our main web application to use the new Redis database server as well to schedule Sidekick background worker tasks. I'm going to go into the main web service of this project and edit the environment variables. And what I'll do here is the same that I did with the worker. I'll link the, the Redis database in here with this configuration. Click the plus sign and click save. So now we'll have to wait a little bit uh, around like 10 to 15 minutes before both the new workers are fully redeployed and have the new environment. And then we can test out our new scheduled job. So there you have it. The deployment is basically done with the two apps. So I have my sidekick worker uh, running and configured with the right environment variables as well as my web service. So let's get into the logs and show you that the Redis sidekick task is actually kicked off. So here are the logs. And now I'm switching to the sidekick worker. Uh, there's already a bunch of stuff in here. So I'm going to use an API app that I have here to trigger an API call that I know will trigger a uh, like a background job. So as soon as I click send here, you should see a new perform acceptance check job pop up that's being run. So let's do that. There you go. You saw the like a new line coming up. I can do it a couple of times. Click, click, click. So this API request actually fires off like a background job and that's what you see here. So we're good. So cool, just to quickly recap, we have uh, added a Redis managed database from the DigitalOcean managed database service. We've linked that into this app as a new component and then we've uh, configured both our web worker and a new worker component to use the Redis URL environment variable that is linked to the new Redis managed service. So that's how you set up a Redis database and a Sidekick background worker on your DigitalOcean app platform app. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.